Please all stand for the morning offering. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of March. We pray for those who have suffered harm from members of the Church. May they find within the Church herself a concrete response to their pain and suffering. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the fourth Sunday of Lent. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Danichi Wee. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in following Jesus, it is demanded of us to have a true faith in God. That cannot be hindered by opposition and misunderstanding is coming to the help of those who suffer. True faith means being the hearts and hands of Jesus so that through us he may continue to do good to the people of today. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray.
Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff, that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless works of darkness. Rather, expose them, for it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand as we honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, Lord of God, O Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Lord of God, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord as jesus passed by he saw a blind man from birth he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva and smeared the clay on his eyes and said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. So he went and washed and came back able to see. His neighbors and those who had seen him earlier as a beggar said, Isn't this the one who used to sit and beg? Some said, It is. But others said, No, he just looks like him. He said, I am. 
they brought the one who was once blind to the Pharisees. Now, Jesus had made clay and opened my eyes on a Sabbath. So then, the Pharisees also asked him how he was able to see. He said to them, He put clay on my eyes, and I washed, and now I can see. So some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, because he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a sinful man do such signs? And there was a division among them. So they said to the blind man again, What do you have to say about him, since he opened your eyes? He said, He is a prophet. They answered and said to him, You were born totally in sin, and are you trying to teach us? Then they threw him out. When Jesus heard that they had thrown him out, he found him and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered and said, Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and the one speaking with you is he. He said, I do believe, Lord, and he worship him. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Pakibati naman ang katabi ng magandang umaga. We are now in the middle of our Lenten journey towards the Paschal Feast. Palapit na tayo sa Pasko ng muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. And the fourth Sunday of Lent is also what we call Leitare Sunday. Leitare. A Latin word which means rejoice. Magalak, matuwa, mas maging masaya, maging maligaya, magkaroon ng galak. And we are being invited by our celebration today to rejoice for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, is near. Malapit na, kaya magalak. Our readings would give us practical tips and help us how to be joyful. Tanungin nyo nga po yung katabi ninyo, masaya ka ba? Kahit hindi mukhang masaya. No? These are the tips. How can we be joyful? Paano ba? Paano ba maging masaya? Our readings would help us. Very practical. Three tips how to be joyful. First, look into the heart. Tumingin sa puso. We heard in our first reading the story of how David, the youngest son of Jesse, was chosen to be the next king of Israel. Samuel was tasked by the Lord to anoint one of the sons of Jesse. So he went to his house. Pumunta si Samuel sa bahay ni Hese para hanapin yung anak na hihirangin ng Panginoon na susunod na hari ng Israel. And upon seeing a lofty stature, May nakita si Samuel na isang matayog at matangkad na lalaki na ang pangalan ay Eliab. Samuel thought that 
He is the chosen one. Kasi ganun ang hari. Matipuno, matangkad, makisig, magandang lalaki. But the Lord spoke to Samuel and told him, Do not judge from appearance. Not as man sees, does God see. Because man sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. Wag kang humatol base sa pisikal. Tingnan mo ang puso. Tingnan mo ang laman ng puso. And from there, Samuel saw David, the youngest son of Jesse, small in stature, but was chosen by God. Do you remember David? Yung sa kwentong David and Goliath, di ba? Maliit lang. Mukha bang hari yung ganun? Kumpara sa kay Eliab, sa kapatid niya, na matipuno. No one would know, but he was chosen by God. Why? Because God looks not in the appearance, but in the heart. Kung siguro, ganito din tayo, namimili ng hari o nang namumuno sa atin, siguro ang saya natin. Kung nakikita, tinitignan lang natin yung puso ng mga leader natin, siguro, alam natin yung hindi karapat dapat. Kung namimili lang tayo, hindi dahil sikat, artista o may pangalan, siguro kung tinignan lang yung puso, masaya tayo. Ano po? Kung puso sana ang tinitignan, sigurado ako walang mag-asawang nagsisisi kung bakit sila nagpakasal. Kasi tiningnan yung itsura. Tiningnan, o oh, ang yaman, sige na. Mabubuhay na ako nito. Oh, tiningnan yung profesyon, ah, lawyer, okay to, doktor, sige. Tiningnan yung pangalan, pero nakalimutang tingnan ang puso. Kaya kadalasan, ang dahilan ng kamalian ng ating pagpapasya sa buhay ay dahil tumingin tayo sa panlabas na kaanyuan. Kaya naman, imbes na kaligayahan o kasiyahan, ang naidulot, kalungkutan. If you want to be happy, look into the heart. Second, look into the light. Sige nga po, mag-review muna tayo. Baka mamaya malimutan nyo na po. Ano po yung number one? If you want to be happy, what's number one? And number two? Look into the light. Tumingin sa liwanag. In our second reading, St. Paul defines light as producer of every kind of goodness righteousness and truth yan daw ang liwanag kabutihan katotohanan at tuwid na buhay that is why saint paul is reminding the ephesians to live as children of light for they were once in darkness dati na silang nasa kadiliman Kaya ngayon, pinapaalalahanan sila na mamuhay sa liwanag. Ganito din po sa buhay natin. Ganito rin tayo iniimbitahan ni San Pablo mamuhay sa liwanag. Sa isang buhay na may liwanag. Dahil ang buhay na may liwanag ay nagdudulot ng saya at ginhawa. Kaya nga, kapag nasa liwanag na, huwag nang pupunta sa dilim. Sigurado, ikakadapa mo lang yan. 
maayos na ang iyong buhay, wag nang pumunta sa kasamaan, wag nang lagyan ng kalokohan. Kapag maliwanag na, wag mo nang balikan ang dating madilim. Kapag naipaliwanag na, wag ka nang balik ng balik sa dilim. Nakaraan na yon, move on ka na. Kalimutan na ang dilim ng kahapon dahil hindi ka magiging maligaya. Yung mga mag-asawa na away ng away dahil binabalikan yung dating madilim, tingnan mo, hindi nagiging maligaya. Kapag napaliwanag na, kapag naliwanagan ka na, kalimutan mo na. Pumunta ka na sa liwanag. Huwag mo nang balikan ang kahapong madilim. If you want to be happy, look into the light. And number three, if you want to be happy, look into the goodness. Review ulit. Ano po yung number one? Number two? And number three? Tumingin sa kabutihan. Lastly, in our gospel today, we heard the story of how Jesus healed the man born blind. And He healed him during Sabbath. As usual, the Pharisees did not see the good work that Jesus did. Instead, they saw the violation of Jesus. This is the reason why they were bothered. For their concern is more of being right by following the law, ang maging tama kesa sa maging mabuti. Their concern is to be right than to be good. Sa halip na nakita nila yung buti na ginawa ni Jesus, ang nakita nila ay yung mali para sa kanila. Marami sa panahon natin, ganito, mabilis ang mata sa mali, pangit at masama. Pero pagdating sa tama, maganda at mabuti, walang nakikita. Sa social media lang eh, mag-post ka lang ng larawan, asahan mo, mas madami ang comment na hindi maganda. Sa pamilya, tinulungan mo na, pero may nasasabi pa ding masama. Niregaluhan mo na, hindi pa rin masyahan. Lahat ito, ay dahil walang mata para sa mabuti, maganda, at tama. Kaya, hindi nagiging masaya at hindi marunong masyahan. May ilan sa atin, yung trabaho, tinitignan bilang nakakapagod, nakakastres, nakakainis. Pero, hindi nakita na ito yung magbibigay ng buhay. Hindi nakita yung ito yung nakakatulong sa pamilya. Hindi nakita yung ito yung nagbibigay ng dignidad sa atin dahil tayo ay may trabaho. Hindi ko sinasabing masama yung magreklamo sa stress, masama yung magreklamo na nahihirapan. Hindi po. Ang sinasabi lang, hanapin mo, tingnan mo yung buti doon ka mag-focus kasi kung titignan mo lagi ang masama, ang hirap at pangit, hindi ka magiging masaya sa trabaho. Lahat ng trabaho mahirap. Kahit maging pare, mahirap. Hirap mag-homily. Yung iba tulog pa. O paano? Yung iba hindi naman nakikinig. Pero iniisip ko na lang, no? Baka isa sa mga nanonood sa online o dalawa sa mga naririto, nakikinig at kailangan ng salita ng Diyos. Yun lang, okay na. Masaya na ako. Lahat ng trabaho, mahirap. Sa mundo, may pangit, 
may hirap, may masama. Pero kung titignan ang mabuti, magiging masaya kahit may hirap, kahit may sakit, kahit may problema. My dear brothers and sisters, these are just simple and practical tips on how to be joyful. We keep on looking for happiness without us knowing that the reason why we cannot find it is because of our eyes. Hindi hinahanap ang saya o ligaya dahil pwedeng sumaya at lumigaya kung tuturuan mong tumingin sa tama, maganda, at mabuti ang iyong mga mata. Amen. Please all stand. Together, we profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His Holy Son, our Lord, who was crucified by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today the Lord reveals Himself as the light of the world. Let us therefore follow Him that we may have the light of life as we say and pray. Loving Father, you are our light. Loving Father, you are our light. Loving Father, enlighten Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and the lay in our discernment and service to each other and all people of goodwill. We pray, Loving Father, you are our light. Loving Father, guide all world, national, and local leaders by the light of your truth. We pray, Loving Father, you are our light. Loving Father, be the light of those who are currently undergoing great suffering, materially, emotionally, or spiritually. In the dark of the night, may they better see your light. We pray, Loving Father, you are our light. Loving Father, preserve in your love all missionaries. Enkindle in them the light you have made them experience on the day they said yes to your mission. We pray, Loving Father, you are our light. Loving Father, let our departed loved ones enter your eternal light. We pray, Loving Father, you are our light. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Loving Father, you are our light. You are our light, Loving Father, Help us then become mirrors of yourself, of your life and love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By the mystery of the Incarnation, He has led the human race that walked in darkness into the radiance of the faith and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin through the waters of regeneration to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out and without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Take away the 
sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who enlighten everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you in all sincerity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Today we shall be having our fourth Alay Kapwa Collection for Caritas Manila's The Mayan Program. Everyone is invited to the following parish activities. This Wednesday, March 20, 22, 7 p.m. is our third Wednesdays of Lent Parish Lenten Recollection to be given by Reverend Father Aldwin Ivan M. Geralao for Mator, Our Lady of Guadalupe Minor Seminary. This Friday, March 24, we shall be having our Fridays of Lent, 
Stations of the Cross at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. March 20 is the Solemnity of St. Joseph, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Mass schedules on March 20 are as follows. 6.30 a.m., 7.15 a.m., 12.15 p.m., and 6 p.m. All donated tinapay ni San Jose will be blessed and distributed tomorrow to mass goers and to nearby communities. On March 21 and 28, we shall be having Rosary of Reparation at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Lastly, we would like to ask for your generosity through financial assistance to support our Holy Week activities. You may give your donations at the parish office and ask for receipt. Thank you for your support and attention. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Look upon those who call to you, O Lord, and sustain the weak. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death and bring those rescued by your mercy from every evil to reach the highest good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. para sa sarili walang sino manang namamatay para sa sarili Thank you.